there are many myths surrounding PYQs in NICT and no one has proved it yet. So I take this as an opportunity to prove these uh, myths whether they are true or false. So that is and approximately equal to 31%. 31% questions are from clinicals or cases. Okay. Image based are 313. That is 22% of the total questions asked in NICT are image based. Which means, does Nimans question, prepare question paper? So does that mean that neuro questions are asked more frequently? PGI is a pioneer in immunology. So does that mean that immunology questions are asked more? Yes. Asked. From which subject most questions are asked? So we'll be using this for the revision strategy. Also. So okay. this video will be containing totally 14 parts. Okay. Hello everyone. I'm Dr. RMD, second year pediatric resident at PJMR RML Hospital, New Delhi. And today is the most awaited session. Um, I had many comments in my chat box regarding uh, the release of this video. So today we'll be discussing about INICT PYQ analysis. And I named it as debunking the myth because there are many myths surrounding PYQs in INICT and no one has proved it yet. So I take this as an opportunity to prove these uh, myths, whether they are true or false. And uh, we'll also be using the uh, whatever analysis we get from this, we'll be using it to uh, apply for the revision strategy since only one month is left for INI. So we'll be using this for the revision strategy also okay so this video will be containing totally 14 parts okay so i have divided this video into 14 parts to avoid it as a, a single very lengthy video so we'll be discussing this this particular video will be the pan subject analysis and the rest of uh, videos that follow that will be the subject wise analysis okay so to, now we will be looking at all the subjects combined so this is the first part of the video so uh, I had to go back uh, through this data from the past three and a half years. So in the past three and a half years, that is from November 20, 2020, that is the first INICT was conducted in November 2020. So since then till now, there have been 17, uh, there, sorry, there have been seven INICT exams. So in this seven INICT exam, we have total question date of 1400. So this was according to recall. So I had to go through each recall and find out which are the questions asked and categorize them accordingly. So uh, I had got total of 1390 questions, which is a good amount of questions because uh, considering the recall and exactly we will not be knowing what, the, what were the questions asked and uh, how many questions uh, uh, actually repeated or uh, some of them might have uh, got grace marks, etc. So we will be not knowing exactly, but based on recall, I have got 1390 questions. So based on this 1390 questions, we will be formulating all our assumptions, etc. Okay, so this INICT per question paper uh, from November 2020 has been uh, uh, thought or said to be prepared by uh, combined efforts of AIMS, NIMHANS, PGI and JIPPER. But we'll be seeing how this is not true also. Okay, so coming to the uh, subject wise distribution of these uh, uh, questions, uh, sorry, uh, INICT questions. So you will notice that few subjects are asked uh, more frequently compared to other subjects. Okay. So which subject do you think is most frequently asked from which subject most questions are asked? So maybe you will be thinking second year subjects or maybe first year subjects or maybe surgery OBG because in my previous video in recent NEET trend, how the trend in NEET exams has changed the previous video which I uploaded that tells us how uh, big subjects like surgery OBG is gaining importance whereas uh, subjects like uh, anatomy physiology has lost their importance. This trend is totally opposite in INICT. Okay. I have not taken questions before November 2020 into account because that was uh, there were separate exams. INICT actually started in November 2020. So for from there on, we'll have this analysis. Okay, so here the trend, whatever followed in need is entirely different. There is totally different trend. Okay, so the subject which has got the highest number of questions in the past seven INICT question paper is this pathology. <coughs> pathology is the subject which has got the highest number of questions, almost ten percent out of thousand four hundred. One forty questions around are from patho itself. So you can guess the weightage of patho in this. So patho is not a very big subject like medicine or uh, surgery or OBG. It's a short, uh, relatively studyable subject. Okay, you can study if you give ample amount of time. So 136 questions are asked from patho. There are six subjects which cross 100 uh, question marks. That is patho, micro, pharmac. These three second year subjects cross 100 mark. And then we have medicine, surgery and OBG. This was as expected because these are big subjects. So they are uh, obviously going to carry more marks. But there are few inconsistencies consistencies in this. Okay, there are few subjects which defy this principle. So we'll be seeing them in detail. See, this is the same uh, data I have arranged it in descending order. So here we'll notice that patho, pharmac, surgery, OBG, micro, medicine is in the sixth place. 
सिक्स प्लस माइंड मेडिसिन इज नॉट द टॉप मेडिसिन इवन दो हैज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ वीडियोज मेड ऑन इट हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ क्यू बैंक क्वेश्चन हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ वॉट एवर पर्ल्स वॉट एवर इज देयर मेडिसिन हैज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ इट बट इट इज इन सिक्स इन पोजिशन इन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आस्ट एन आई एन आई सी टी ओके देन कम्स एनाटमी से इन माई प्रीवियस नीट वीडियो आई हेड टोल्ड यू हाउ एनाटमी हेज लॉस्ट इंपॉर्टेंस इन नीट बट इन आई एन आई सी टी अगेन एनाटमी हेज नाइंटी वन क्वेश्चन इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट है देन फिजियोलॉजी पी एस एम बायो केमिस्ट्री एंड वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट सी ऑफ्टैल ई एन टी पीट्स ऑर्थो डर्मा एवरीथिंग इज बिलो फॉरेंसिक सो इफ आई आस टेल यू इफ आई आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन विच इज द गेम चेंज ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इन आई एन आई विच नो वन विल स्टडी बट स्टिल मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट दैट इज फॉरेंसिक मेडिसिन सो द फर्स्ट टेक ऑफ मैसेज फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो इज दैट नेवर इग्नोर फॉरेंसिक मेडिसिन आई एन आई सी टी फॉरेंसिक इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दैन ई एन टी ऑफ दल कंबाइंड ऑर्थो डर्मेट कंबाइंड मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इवन ए क्लिनिकल सब्जेक्ट लाइक मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दैन इवन ए क्लिनिकल सब्जेक्ट लाइक पीट्स सो डोंट एवर कमिट मिस्टेक ऑफ नेग्लेक्टिंग फॉरेंसिक बिकॉज इन माई फ्यूचर वीडियो इन द अपकमिंग पार्ट वेर आई हैव डिस्कस ऑन शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट यू विल नोटिस दैट हाउ फॉरेंसिक हैज कंसिस्टेंटली परफॉर्म आई विल शो यू द डेटा हियर इट सेल्फ सी हाउ फॉरेंसिक नाइन नाइन टेन टेन नाइन एट इन द लास्ट आई एन एट ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन वेर आस्ट सो मच कंसिस्टेंट परफॉर्मेंस एंड दिस इज अ सब्जेक्ट विच कैन बी कंप्लीट इन कंप्लीटेड इन टू और थ्री डेज एंड एवरी वन नेग्लेक्ट्स दिस सब्जेक्ट ओके सो डोंट इग्नोर फॉरेंसिक देन कमिंग टू पीट्स और टू डरमेट ऑफ दर ऑल दीज आर लूजिंग देयर इंपॉर्टेंस ओके आई डोंट नो वाई हु सेट्स आई एन आई सी टी क्वेश्चन पेपर बट दिस इज अ ट्रेंड दैट हेज बीन फॉलोइंग सिंस द लास्ट सेवन आई एन आई सी टी क्वेश्चन पेपर्स so this is not me telling not from my experience not from a single exam experience from seven ex exam question paper this is a trend so now we'll go to the graph okay see this patho pharmac surgery obg micro one, one thing which you will notice is that this patho pharmac and here uh, micro forensic all these four subjects are in top 10 so second year subjects okay and surgery obg and uh, sorry and anatomy physiology and biochem this first year subjects so this first year and second year subjects are the king makers so this was a conventional approach that first year and second year subjects uh, have the highest number of questions that are being asked in ins it that is true hereby i scientifically prove that it is true okay there is no doubt in that first year and second year along with that combine surgery obg forensic okay and you combine uh, medicine anyways you don't have to combine anything because it is so vast so these 10 subjects actually are a game changer in nine ict okay just as i had given the p4 s4 ba formula for neat which are the top 10 subjects here first year second year plus surgery obg is a king maker okay no doubt in that so this is the subject wise representation according to percentage so you see these 10 subjects okay excluding medicine rule out this part excluding this medicine it will form 70% of the total questions that are asked so in the upcoming inict paper also out of 200 question 140 questions 140 140 questions will be just from these 10 subjects and these 10 subjects are not, are excluding medicine okay so other subjects are also have a role in that okay i'm not telling that to ignore other subjects but other subjects also you have to read with caution there are few topics which are repeatedly asked from short subjects there are few topics which are repeatedly asked from lengthy subjects okay and these two will be discussing in our subject related discussion okay there are separate 13 more videos on subject wise analysis so there i'll be telling you what to study from each subject okay next just knowing what questions are asked is not enough we will also we should also know what type of questions are asked so i made a data i collected data of uh, what are the clinical questions that are asked clinical means case based okay case based questions and what are the image based questions are and what are the problem based questions asked so these are like generalized uh, uh, different type of questions okay patterns of questions but there are few more like recent update questions there are life cycle type of questions there are histopathological slide based questions those i have discussed in respect to subject videos okay like for example recent updates are more important in pharmacology so i have discussed in pharmacology and uh, uh, a life cycle is more important in uh, uh, microbiology so i have discussed that in microbiology okay here i have not included that so in clinical questions okay 
429 questions out of 1400 have, uh, have come from uh, clinical based questions okay that is case discussions out of total 4400 questions till now in INICT so that is approximately equal to 31 percent 31 percent questions are from clinicals or cases okay image based are 313 that is 22 percent of the total questions asked in INICT are image based which means other than this 31 percent questions whatever asked is one liners okay so that means INICT has more number of one liners but then what is the importance of knowing this clinical based question? The importance is that there is something called as custom based module in each coaching app. In this custom based module, today go and put the hashtag clinicals or put hashtag case and put hashtag aims, aims or INI. And you will get a set of previous questions which are clinical based. Okay, solve these questions. These are the most important questions. Even though without aims tag also, these questions are important. What my point? Because you will be studying just notes or you will be just watching revision videos or you will be just uh, going through uh, like uh, pearls or treasures or whatever or BTR. So you will be losing touch with this clinical question and this clinical questions 30 percent are uh, 30 means out total 60 questions out of 200. That is not a small issue. Okay. It's a big matter. So you are not supposed to lose this question. So today itself go to this custom modules and make sure that you solve this clinical based questions. Okay. Case based series. Then second point is about image based questions. Why image based questions are important because these image based questions, every coaching app has one separate section called image bank or image pearls okay, or image treasures where image based questions are only discussed. So today itself go back and watch all those images which have come in here because these have been repeatedly repeatedly asked in INICT questions as we will see in the upcoming uh, uh, upcoming uh, videos on uh, each subject based uh, uh, PYQ analysis there you will see how repeatedly image based questions are especially for example in ENT you will notice that here in ENT <coughs> This 16 questions, okay, 16 total in ENT around 40 questions only have been asked. Out of that 40 also, 16 questions have come from images, and out of these 16 questions, around 70 to 80 percent are just from nose. Now you'll be surprised. What question can come from nose? The actual answer is rhinosporidosis or pheomycosis. These questions are repeatedly asked in ENT from nose chapter. Okay, I was going through each and every previous question. That that's what took me so much time to uh, make this video because I was going through each and every question, analyzing, categorizing them into each category, whether it is clinical or image based. So this actually took time, and making this data actually took time. Okay, so here you'll notice that ENT. See this anatomy. 51 questions 51 question out of 90 questions in anatomy that is more than 50 percent questions in anatomy are image based questions so if you go to image bank or your image treasures and then you will note note only the uh, imp uh, important diagrams okay especially you will see that cns anatomy has more number of the uh, cns diagrams that are asked so if you note only these diagrams you are uh, very much likely to score higher marks in anatomy Okay, and then comes this problem solution, uh, problem sol based questions. And as you uh, think that problem solved question, uh, problem based questions are more in PSM, but actually there are only around three to four questions which are asked in PSM, which are purely problem based. Rest all are graphical and uh, uh, multiple choice type type of questions. And but physio seven questions, seven questions in physiology, general physiology especially have been from problem based physiology. Okay, so these problem based questions are especially important for uh, physiology. And even one question from Pete's has been asked. One question from medicine that was mainly uh, ABG, I think, or uh, maybe renal physiology. Uh, sorry, renal uh, 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 medicine. Okay. So this is the list of clinical, say clinical questions. So medicine has the highest number that is 68, no doubt in that. But out of some around 110 questions, I think asked in medicine, out of that 68 are clinical based only. So these are many case based questions, not clinical, case based questions. Surgery has 45, second highest. Then comes pathomicropharma. See how the second year subjects are gaining important. This means that, this means that questions which are asked are more towards integrated approach. So you will have a case and then you will have a pharma question hidden in that. Okay. Then comes Dermat. See Dermat also has many 25 clinical questions. I think there are some 30 or 35 questions in Dermat out of which 25 questions are from uh, <coughs> clinicals only. Then OBG has less number of clinical questions. That is important. See OBG uh, has more of one liners. Okay, OBG has more of gynecology questions than OBG questions, oh, obstetric questions. Okay, and most of them are one liners or they are OBG related but less of case related. Okay, then see here forensic has more questions. This means that in forensic, toxicology questions are increasing and 
केस बेसमेंट दे गिव अ केस लाइक दिस डेड बॉडी वॉज ऑप्टेंड हियर एंड नाउ दिस चेंजेस सो वट इज अ टाइम ऑफ डेथ दैट ऑल्सो कम्स अंडर केस बेस्ट ऑनली ओके आई हैव इंक्लूड अंडर केस बेस्ट ऑनली ओके सो डोंट इग्नोर फॉरेंसिक देन कम्स ऑर्थो एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक ऑफ दैल यू सी ओनली सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन ई एन टी ओनली टेन क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन पीडियाट्रिक्स ऑल्सो लेस नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट ओके बट साइकेट्री सी साइकेट्री मोर नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट दैट इज बिकॉज साइकेट्री इज इंटरलेटेड विद फार्मेकोलॉजी ऑल्सो ओके सो साइकेट्री प्लस फार्मेकोलॉजी विल गेट मेनी नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल्सो सम पार्ट्स ऑफ सीन एस पार्ट्स ऑफ मेडिसिन ऑल्सो दैट इज ऑल्सो इंटरग्रेटेड विद साइकेट्री देन बायोकेमिस्ट्री ओनली नाइन एंड फिजोलॉजी ऑल ओर वन लाइन ऑस एक्सेप्ट वन और टू हियर एंड सम क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट then coming to image based questions you see anatomy is the king anatomy is the king of images micro 44 questions and micro questions are also like not only about uh, the shape and structure it also includes life cycle it also includes uh, uh, the layers the cell wall layers okay fungal wall layers so many questions were asked from micro patho 29 see these two anatomy plus micro it's are forms most of the image based questions okay then comes patho dermat obviously it should have images only then uh, radio also you should have images okay and then you see forensic also 10 questions were image based questions pharmac 10 question i will be wondering what pharmac images are there especially antimicrobials in antimicrobials uh, there will be many questions based on what is where is the mechanism of action of this antibiotic and then they will give you the microbial cell wall layer maybe fungal wall or maybe bacterial cell wall so you are supposed to know which antimicrobial acts there so that i will be again discussing in pharmac based videos okay so psychiatry has the least number of questions okay image based questions so this is the percentage of image based questions you will see that anatomy micro patho dermat and here radio these five almost constitutes almost constitutes more than 50% of the images why i am saying this repeatedly why i am stressing more on image based and clinical based because when you read whole of notes whole notes is black and white for you but when you read only images there are many questions which can be solved just based on images knowing the images knowing the images is owning the question okay so that 100 why. questions in i and i are always hard questions even toppers won't be able to answer more more than 50 uh, questions in among those okay so your main aim is to identify those commonly asked questions and those common asked questions shouldn't be mistaken okay and wherever you feel that uh, uh, you can actually score more by knowing the image that is actually better only okay it will just boost your marks So now the summary of this video is that how can you apply this for your revision strategy? Six century subjects, okay. The third year subjects that is patho, pharmac, micro, medicine, OPG, surgery. This six subjects should be covered at least partly, or at least the important topics that I'll be discussing later on. these subjects should be covered for inicit because these subjects carry almost 50% of the total uh, total question that were asked in the inicit this carries that much 50% of the fraction of the marks okay that is almost 100 questions high weight other than these six subjects high weight it means which you can study in a less time but it will give you more output in return they are anatomy ortho low weightage subjects are PSM, ENT, Ophthal, and Biochem. Okay, then conventional advice that is first year and second year. Okay, this is forensic. Conventional subjects, uh, conventional advice that uh, many uh, questions are asked from uh, uh, first year and second year subjects is true. Uh, uh, to that, you should add OBG and surgery. Then your whole uh, circle becomes full. Okay, you will be able to score more than seventy percent. Then case based discussion follow custom modules. I have already discussed this. how to use custom modules and then image bank uh, follow anat plus micro plus path for it plus the derma these form the major chunk of the image based questions so this was the analysis span subject wise still what about the systems does nimans question prepare question paper so does that mean that neuro questions are asked more frequently or is it that cvs questions are most are most asked more frequently pgi is a pioneer in immunology so does that mean that immunology questions are asked more so this is a matter for discussion in a another video okay so later on in the upcoming days i'll be releasing a video on this like who prepares question paper and how can we realize how we, which institute prepares question paper based on pyq analysis okay so now we'll be moving on to what individual subjects tell us so upcoming videos 
are a set of 13 videos okay so 13 separate sessions so i request you to go through all through all these 13 subject sessions so that you get a proper idea of what to study because i have discussed in those videos what you have to study important topics in each video what is the trend which subject you shouldn't study and which topics you shouldn't study in each subject okay so thank you